Well, we are at the opening match of the season. We have made some more transfers, so we need to get into that. And uh, we just spent a lot of money on one player. So let's take a look at him, too. Unless you don't want to. Roll the intro and let's get into it. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Football Manager 21. This is episode 49, Climbing the Ladder, our single team save with DeGroff Shop. Interesting news, last year's uh, Arita VC Champions, Willem II, uh, their manager stepped down and took the Netherlands job. So that was interesting. They haven't offered me the job. I couldn't take it anyway. Let's take a look at finances. We are currently on 32.5 million, 5.2 million in our transfer budget still, and 1.4 million on our payroll. We have uh, about 270,000, give or take a little bit, uh, left in our wage bill per month. Jumping into transfers. Oh, by the way, hit the like button if you like what I'm doing here. Subscribe, especially if you're new. And uh, hit me up in the comments. Love to hear from you guys. And don't forget, we do have daily football manager content here on the channel, Monday through Saturday. So uh, three days a week with this save and three days a week with our journeyman save. All right. This year we have, uh, let's see, we did it on the first. So we had seen those guys and we had moved Muhlenstein. Isn't that weird? Abanda is showing up on the new season, but the la but Samir is not. So I had mentioned uh, earlier uh, that Samir, or last episode, that Samir had uh, quite a few people that had met his release clause. Uh, he does sign for Lil uh, for eight and a quarter million. He's placed on their Division Two side. Uh, we signed him for nine hundred thousand two years ago, and he is off. Really didn't want to lose him. He's only 19 years old with a lot of upside. But he wanted to leave, and they met his re uh, release clause. So he's gone. So, so much for him. We also then moved out uh, a few younger players. Most of these guys are young players that just weren't going to cut it. And when I say young, probably 18 to 21, maybe 22. Eldridge Fermina is uh, one of the keepers that we had signed to possibly be a reserve keeper but you can see he's only two and a half star potential and he's 29 this was the, the guy from curacao that we had signed uh he just never broke into the side so we let him go uh adrian delcroix we had accepted an offer for him for 650 uh, i think two or three offers he rejected all of them and then this club came in and uh, he took it so he left. He was going to be our backup. So that necessitated, after moving a few other guys, Milotovic, Grizel, Fermina, we needed to sign another reserve keeper. So we have. We'll take a look at him in a minute. Uh, Dylan Swartz, a young striker, goes out on loan. And Delqua, 650000 So a little over, a little over a million, just under a million and a half here in the new year, plus the guys that we moved later last year which just came in. So that was $10.85 million just for those two guys uh, since the end of the season. So not bad business there. Now, because I've given some thought to playing this three center back system and because Samir just left, I did have a need for another center back. We moved all these keepers. Delcois left, so we needed a... Deputy ready. I have a lot of younger keepers like the guy that we just signed, but um, with the high eccentricity that we talked about. But O'Malley, I think it is. I think he's Irish. Not really ready to play if our starter should go down. So uh, we signed somebody, but let's take a look in order. Emmanuel Abanda, he is, comes in on a free. He was uh, the only player under the age of 30 released by Dutch clubs. Uh, he's a left back, but can also play at center back in a pinch. But we do need a left back. 
he was decent, and so I went ahead and signed him. Honestly, because he was a free, he's valued at a million dollars. He's a set. He's you know he's an asset that we can sell. Uh, Vladimir Petrich uh, comes in for two point two million. He's a nineteen year old Croatian, capped at the U twenty level, four and a half star potential, pretty solid, very low eccentricity, which I particularly like. And he is a promising goalkeeper, so definitely has more upside than our current guy. And this could be our keeper of the future as well as filling in as our deputy right now. A couple of teams came in for loan for him pretty much immediately, uh, but he's going to be on the bench for us every game. And then, because I had so much money from the sales added into our transfer budget, I wanted to make a splash. And I made a loan offer on a striker that we, he just was not going to come uh, to our club. But I, I made a loan offer on him, and uh, he went elsewhere. Over He took several big clubs. I'm talking like, you know, PSV, you know, not PSV, uh, PSG level clubs. Uh, so anyway, we lost out on him. There was another guy that, uh, who was it? I uh, don't even remember. Um, like Barcelona, one Barcelona, but somebody like Barcelona, their their junior club though, uh, was in for him. Might have been PSG, and I uh, I said, well, I'm going to go in for him too. I bid two two hundred thousand extra, and they took it. But he signed he signed elsewhere. We I mean we t we talked contract, gave him everything he wanted, and uh, but he went elsewhere, and I don't blame him, but. Uh, the guy on loan that we were looking at, what surprised me is he took a second division club in in uh, Belgium, I believe. Uh, but anyway, I had some money to spend. I wanted to strengthen our center back with Samir leaving. So we signed a 17-year-old Bulgarian international, Kirill Kurdov. He is six foot four, and he has really solid physicals, work rate. Tackling, passing, marking, heading, whole ball of wax. He's going to be a good fit in our three back set. So those are the new guys. This is the guy that we had uh, tried to get in on loan. Uh, he goes to F uh, Sosho, Sasho Montbelliard second team, uh, and uh, but he was he was pretty good. Uh, he wasn't the greatest, but he was pretty good. I was going to be happy to have him coming off the bench. The guy that I wanted, Labadan Kovacevic. He does go to PSG. He's on their U19 club. Look at that. I believe Loki Doki would call that football manager porn. I believe is how he would refer to that. And yeah, pretty accurate. A little lacking in pace, but damn, I wanted him bad. Wanted him bad. Uh, they had bids of 1.3. I think I went in at 1.6, and we were right up at that 59 level. Uh, but anyway, we lost out on him. So uh, if we take a look at the team report, a lot of names you will recognize. So Kaiser. In goal, Petrich, the newcomer, in his deputy. Uh, Gerber, Kurdov, Kaisela, and then Van Beckel, uh, probably the four center backs. Van Beckel first off the bench. Uh, Okachi's in there uh, as depth. And then we have Cervenka, Basic, and Profit on the left. Meyer, Grutuk, Javic, Odzmar in the middle. And DeVos, Javic, Aaron, Thielman's on the right. Resnick looking at that number 10 spot. Meyer, Javic uh, can fill in there. And then Kernjik, uh, Resnick, Vicario up top in the striker spots. So I'm looking at Kernjik, Vicario in the top two with Resnick slotting in behind them. We also have signed, uh, re, re signed Resnick to a new extension through 2061, so a five year deal, uh, getting rid of his pretty low. Release clause, I think it was like eight and a half million, something like that. 
Uh, we were starting to get some people sniffing around, uh, you know, the five, six million dollar range. So I said, let's just go ahead and re-sign him. And uh, he was willing to do away with the buyout clause. So that's what the squad looks like. Uh, taking a look real quick at friendlies and whatnot. 5-0 uh, victory over Red Star, a 1-1 draw with Heracles. I believe we had a couple of friendlies that were at the tail end of last season. Uh, we did Zilln, a 5-0 win, and Thune, a 6-2 win. Uh, you can see here, Grutunk uh, with a goal, Resnick out of the number 10, Servinka on the mid, in the mid-center, Odzimir in midfield, Profit left, left midfielder, uh, Bujetsky uh, is... Uh, right midfielder, I new guy or younger guy, didn't recognize him. So, you know, we're seeing a lot of goals out of this new tactic coming from the midfielders. Uh, but then Kernjik with a brace, Vicario with a hat trick, Kernjik with a goal there against Heracles. We actually dominated that game statistically, uh, just got put down. So jumping in, we're going to open up today against newcomers NEC. So let's take a real quick look. Villem, the defending champions. And the new clubs coming up are Emmen, Rhoda, and NEC. Uh, two of those three are favored to go down. Eindhoven in the mix there. We are picked as a mid-table side at 100 to 1. Probably the best pick that we've been since uh, the, the save started. Uh, but not quite good enough to get into Europe. We'll have to do something about that. Uh, PSV favorites, Villem. Right there, of course, with a new manager, Aaron Veen up there. Pretty much your similar cast of characters. Uh, and if we take a look at the star 11 from the league, none of our guys in the mix. That's too bad. But if we look at who our top players are, uh, Kernjik and Kurdov. Uh, Kurdov is that new Bulgarian center back. So those are our top two players in the league. Taking a look at team selection for today, we're going with Kaiser in goal, Van Beckel, Casella, and Kurdov on the back line as Kurdov makes his debut. Profit making his debut on the left. Thielman's in at the right uh, wing. Gruntuk and Meyer anchoring the mid like last year. Resnick drops uh, into the number 10 after moving over from the attacking right wing. And Kernjik and Vicario. You want to see they're playing a 4-4-2. That's one thing I'm going to have to look at this year because this is a little susceptible if you have attacking wingers. So basically I have a uh, two tactics. I have the 3-4-3 versus wingers and without wingers. So we're going to switch over to this one. It's the same positioning and everything else. The only difference is on the two wing positions, on the on the number two versus wingers, I have them specifically set to man mark uh, profit or the, this left wing would man mark the attacking right winger and the our right winger would cover their attacking left winger. Makes sense. You guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, Kernjik and Vicario, that good partnership up top. Let's get into it and go. We are going to need a couple of squad numbers. We'll let them pull out of the, uh, the bin in the locker room. Typically, that's how we roll. In fact, I think last season, right at the end, we gave uh, number 13 to our keeper. And I think that was his favorite number. It was available. And, you know, I think that might be the first time in football manager history that I've actually assigned a number to somebody. All right, we're going to encourage the team. We are in attacking format. We've already had two shots, three shots, and we get the first highlight. So Grutunk from the midfield line into Vicario, who drops back to receive that. Resnick beats his man. Bad play by Tamias. Meyer threads it through. Vicario is there, and he slots it home. We're 13 minutes in. Vicario, our captain with our vice captain, I'm sorry, with the first goal of the season. And we are up 1 0. Um, Gerber is our captain. He's not in the starting 11 today. He actually got hurt. And uh, we've got several players. In fact, uh, DeVos, our right, right midfielder, uh, he's out injured as well. So, you know, we are going to have to kind of deal with, with that. 
Just is what it is, I suppose. Good header down. Profit comes back and gets control for us. Meyer, Resnick, team up there to get it into the attack zone. And I tell you what, what I did notice in all the friendlies with this tactic, I do not have work into the box on and a lot of shots from the fringe areas of the box, uh, both by midfielders and our number 10. And they put a lot of goals away. All right, that was a bad outlet pass. Casella runs him down and it misses. Boy, I thought that was in the net. Oof. Just... <laughs> Eight shots, five on target, a .94 XG. Let's encourage them again. Everybody's playing pretty well. We do have Thielman's on a 6-6, six, six, up to a 6-7. And that is the score at the half. Uh, let's pump the fist. You played well, still room for improvement. And we will get back into it. Let's demand a little more from them now. Kurdov, there's his first highlight of the save. Injik, oh, and he takes a ping. Probably should have taken a dribble, but again, without work into box, I am seeing that. Long throw, cleared out. Casella controls it. Up into Resnick in that number 10. Casella stepping up from that center back role. Oh, there's the through ball, and Kernjik misses his first shot. <coughs> Excuse me. Corner. Near post. Knocked away. Macario's going to run it down. Oh, that's an ugly foul. Is there going to be a penalty there? I mean, not a penalty, a card. Does not appear to be. All right, we are in the 63rd minute. I think I'm going to be a little more, at least here in the early going, I'm going to be a little more aggressive. I just kind of want to see if I don't make the my normal sub at the 60th minute. Uh, it's in the box, but the keeper gets down on it. If I start waiting for some of the guys to go red, like Thielman's just went red. So we got an extra five minutes out of him, right? Uh, let's put uh, let's put Jazvik Jazvik out there. Take a look at him. He's 25 years old, capped at U20, four star potential, three star current, good dribbler, good passing. Uh, he is going to be really good in that number 10, but I think Resnick is just better right there. So, um, but he can play a couple of other positions. So I kind of like that. So we're just going to make the one sub right now. They reverse field. Now he's open. Wabena. Profit collapses on him. Good tackle in. Nice. Forces it back. And they play it all the way back to midfield. How Kernjik didn't get there, I don't know. But Thielmans is on it. He slots it into Vicario. And Vicario backdoors it on Blanchard for his second goal. And I tell you what, I don't know if you saw that, but Kernjik was right there running with him. And Lahal had come off of him. He was wide open. Or he lost him. He was wide open for, for an easy open net uh, if Vicario didn't feel obligated to take that. But uh, hey, you know, when you're already winning and you don't need the goal, but you get it anyway, that is positive. All right, Profit is now tired. Let's go pull him off. He is our left winger. We'll bring uh, Basich in over there. Actually, yeah, Thielman's is already off. I was thinking we could put Thielman's in there. Uh, Bassich, we've given a contract extension. He was in the last year of his deal. Not really, you know, not really anything to be gung-ho about. Oh, uh, good flick over by Bassich. That was a nice play. His first highlight. And a crack from the edge of the box. Doesn't go anywhere. 
All right, and Grutunk now red. Uh, let's go ahead and pull him for... Really want to play one of our guys here. Uh, what a, Who is Bajetsky? I don't recognize him. So he must not have played much last year, if at all. He's got pretty good technicals on the attacking end. He can pass. Off the ball looks okay. But he's more of a right winger. Um, I tell you what, let's give the uh, let's give the debut to our lone player, uh, Ahmed Ozemir. Let's do that, and we will start this back up. He'll come in on the next substitution possible, or he's already in. Good. Turnjik, he takes a crack from the edge of the box. So what I might do in the next couple of matches, I might turn on work into the box and just see how that affects or impacts our overall gameplay. Um, because we're creating a lot of chances, we're getting good shots. So I don't want to really mess with that, but if we can get some better opportunities, then I think we would be crazy not to at least think about it, right? Good ball movement there into the middle of the field. Oh, Vicario is in, and he's tackled. Kernjic can't get the ball, and, oh, it's just headed away. A couple of good efforts. I am wondering why we didn't get a penalty call there. I think Vicario should have been on the spot with that takedown. But all in all, a solid 2-0 win, 30 shots, 13 on target, a 306 XG. Two goals scored. Like to maybe get a little bit better there, but hey, you know, it was a good first game, breaking in a new tactic. And uh, hey, we are not going to shake our head at that at all. So because we're not in our first, you know, handful of seasons anymore, I think we're going to go and take a look at... Oh, we had to pay AZ 825000 His 50th league game for the club. That's fine. Vicario, two shots, five shots on target. Give him a congratulations. So that's good. Um, yeah, I don't see the need to come back. You know, a lot of times, you know, I'll come back real early in the in the schedule. I don't really see the need for that right now. We don't have Europe this year. It's just the league. So I think let's get a good run of games. Why don't we come back for M and highlights and FC 20 uh, in the middle of October, our first two matches of October. That'll give us seven matches in hand, and we'll try to get through some more seasons. So go ahead and hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Daily Football Manager content six days a week, Monday through Saturday. Have a good one. Bye.